Whoa. There we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fresh Air Outdoors. Uh, today, I'm way more excited than I should be uh, because I'm doing a little lure challenge. I got this little grasshopper guy. I don't know if that's going to focus. Yeah. Got this little grasshopper dude. And uh, I've been wanting to like fish kind of a little lure like this for a while. And I'm really excited to go try it out. So uh, it's got it's just like a little grasshopper. It's kind of orange on the top and yellow on the bottom. And uh, it's supposed to be you can you can twitch it on the top of the water like a uh, like a like kind of a pop bar, or you can do a straight retrieve and it'll kind of do a crank type action I, I I guess. But it's got two little tiny treble hooks on there. And yeah, I'm gonna take it down to the little creek and test it out. All right, so got my little. This is, oh, I forgot to mention, this is the Rebel. It's made by Rebel, uh, same company that makes the Pop R series. Uh, and this is the Crick Hopper, which I guess is like a combination of a cricket and a grasshopper. But, so anyway, I already saw some bass up shallow, so that's where I'm going to cast first. Let's see, first cast, see what, what we can do here. We already we already have a fish on. Oh yeah, I had a feeling that these these guys were gonna get a t this thing was gonna get absolutely attacked. It is just yeah, it's already driving them crazy. Just giving it a little twitch. I didn't even I didn't even really have to twitch it before they started going after it. Oh, okay. It's gonna pick up a little bit of stuff here. Let's see if I can throw back, back into there and get some bass action on it. Just doing light little ticks. Oh, it just got smoked. Wow, they're really beating the hell out of it. Oh, oh, smoked it. They're not getting hooked though, which is crazy because these, these treble hooks are tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, got one. Yep. Tiny green sunfish. All right, uh, that's probably one of the smallest green sunfish I've ever caught. Oh, and there he goes. All right, first fish on the, uh, I will say, I think that it makes a better wake bait than a, uh, a pop R, which I was expecting it to be uh, more of a pop R, but uh, I think that I'm getting better bites just using it as a wake bait. I mean, it's almost immediate. As soon as I start reeling, they just go after it. Oh, yes, they are. Already got another bite on it. Just slowly reel it in. There's one. Looking at it. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not a bad green sunfish. Okay. Not wow. I gotta get in the sun so you guys can look at those colors on that boy. Really cool. Not a not a bad green sunfish on the Crick Hopper new bait that I'm trying out, and so far I am having an absolute blast with it. All right, let's let this guy go. See you, bud. There we go. All right, that's a long ear. Fish surgery. There we go. Oh no, there he goes. Okay. Well, that that's one way to do it.
Got him. Got one. Get out of there. Yeah. That's a better one. Yep. That's a better one. Woo. Oh, man. He choked that. Whoa. Okay. And I've just, hey, I've just stabbed myself with a treble hook pretty bad. Oh, ow. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's the first time I've really gotten barbed like that. That hurt. Alright, dude. Get out of there. Get that mouth healing up. Wait a second. Dude. You guys aren't going to believe this. It really is. It's a message in a bottle. Okay, well, I'm going to take this home because I don't have a wine bottle opener with me. Um, so, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> That's too cool. I thought it was just some trash down here, but it's not. It's a message in a bottle. That's exciting. Never gotten one of those before. Oh, got him, got him. What is it? Another green sunfish, dang. Oh, fighter. Oh, good one, good one, good one. Oh, yeah. Nice, oh man. That's a big one. Just barely skin hooked. Oh man, that's a good one. That got a little beat up there. Get him over in the light and take a look at him. I might have to measure this guy. This guy's a pretty nice and yeah, good looking sunfish. Look at the colors on that guy. Really big for 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 a greenie. I'm gonna go get a measurement on him and see exactly how big he is. Oh, seven and little little under eight. A little under eight. Wow. Nice one. Let's get this guy back in the water. Oh. That bite was for Oh. Ferocious, ferocious fish. <laughs> okay. Gosh, I've lost count of how many of these guys that I've caught today. Okay. Just a normal, regular green sunfish. Nothing special. That's like number a lot for today. Cool. Oh, better one. Yeah. See, you can tell they're spawning when they get that bloody bloodiness around some of those fins. That's a good looking fish. Good size fish. Alright, I think on that note, I am pretty worn out. I am dying of thirst. I think on that note, even though I didn't get my bass today, I think I've just slayed the sunfish enough to where I can form an opinion on, whoops, on the, uh, what was it called? The Crick Hopper? Yeah, that's what I've been fishing with today. So, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you guys. Oh, wait, hang on. i got to do an outro at the end of this. Alright, let's get this fish going. All right, so back at the house, final thoughts on the Rebel Crick Hopper. Um, 
It was uh, it was a little different than I thought it was going to be. I was picturing something more similar to a pop bar, uh, but it actually I think I got most of the bites on this lure uh, by using it as a wake bait. Uh, so basically, I was just very very slowly cranking it and keeping that um, that lure just right at the top of the water column. Uh, enough to make some ripples on the top of the water and uh, I got a couple bites twitching it like kind of like a pop bar would that's what I was expecting to uh, get into when I bought this bait but uh, it actually does make a better um, <clears throat> a better uh, wake bait and it's really good because it's really good for that little tiny shallow creek because um, since it stays at the top of the water it doesn't snag a lot of the weeds um, with the treble hooks which is why I usually never use crankbaits or anything with treble hooks in that creek uh, is because I just end up pulling up a huge wad of algae and 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 grass. So uh, it did a good job of that. Didn't get the bass that I wanted to catch today, but it, uh, the green sunfish definitely um, uh, definitely loved it. And it's just a much more exciting way of fishing than uh, normal creek fishing or pan fishing. Uh, just getting those top water blowups is a lot more exciting than throwing out a piece of worm on a bobber. Uh, so yeah, that's basically my thoughts on this. I, I really like it. It's definitely going to be riding in my light tackle box with me whenever I go someplace where there's panfish, bluegill, green sunfish, a uh, little bass. I mean, I really wanted to catch a little bass on it, and I think I'm going to keep trying for that and accomplishing, uh, I'd like to accomplish that soon. So anyway, now, now for the exciting bit. Uh, while I was down at the creek, I found this message in a bottle, so I'm going to open it and see what it says. I didn't have a wine cork opener, so... And this cork is jammed all the way down. Oh gosh, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now how am I going to get this thing out of there? Oh, it smells... Doesn't smell good. <laughs> there we go. All right, whoops. Oh, it stinks. Ew. Hello, thank you for discovering this note. This is part of an experiment for my environmental science class at UNT to see how far these notes travel. God, it stinks. <laughs> travel in alluvial systems and how long it takes them for, to travel great distances. I would appreciate it if you would call this number and give me the following information, the date and location released, where you found the note and when, and if I don't answer, leave a voicemail or text message. Thank you for your help. I'm getting this thing out of the house because it stinks. Hello. Hi, um, I found your message in a bottle. <laughs> Throw it away? <laughs> okay. Alright. Sorry to bother you. Alright. Bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I called the number and uh, the chick said uh, it wasn't her and that she's been getting these calls for a year and a half now. She said to throw it in the trash. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.